everyone failed shot back at it with a video and we're back on the alt account and this one's pretty exciting because i happened to stumble upon um arena and i noticed i was ranked 63 um so i was just checking it out and i was realizing i'm just kind of picking out battles here win by win and climbing the ranks um on the alt account here and i realized that some people are already at legend so I was wondering if we could actually achieve legend rating before the season ends in four days. Um, this is going to be quite a feat if we possibly can, but I have been saving up all the arena packs. We have 26, we have plenty of arena passes itself, and obviously we'll be getting more because I am farming glyphs quite regularly. Queen tw uh, 11 and 12 here as well, and so we have a chance here, but we are going to need to build out our arena comp hopefully improve the gear on our Valyria and Evra, and then get our Windstrex uh, a little bit faster here in order for us to compete. Um, because if you look at Windstrex's gear here, um, she has literally no upgrades. Raider sets across the board, but this is a four-star speed set. Hopefully we have um, a little bit better pieces. And she's only at 183 speed. That's including no glyphs maxed out. So I think we're missing about uh, 20 or so speed on these glyphs here. So that is going to be massive. So what we're going to do is we're going to try to build out our arena comp here and actually beat uh, a bunch of people so we can get to a legend rating or at least as close as we possibly can. If we end up, you know, in diamond tier with the, um, where's the tier here? Diamond tier. It's actually quite nice as well because five summons versus three summons, which is really nice. On top of that, the extra diamonds. And if we do happen to get to the top 10, Epic Arcana on a, on this alt account free to play is going to be really, really massive um, because you're not able to purchase those regularly. So super, super important uh, to get that Arcana if I can. So we're going to be building that out. And if you are enjoying this content, be sure to leave a like, drop a comment and subscribe. And let's go ahead and jump into the Winstrex build because that's the first thing I want to work on. See if we can just jump into some speed here. Um, I'm not going to finish the glyphs right now. I will be finishing those later, um, but we have a lot of improvements that we could make um, in regards to speed here. Let's just look for a speed boot. We have a six-star speed boot, but we also have a five-star raider set. Um, so let's just figure out what's better. I believe this uh, six-star boot goes up to uh, 50 speed, and then the five-star goes up to 39. Um, so if we have a full raider set, we could actually just run a raider boot, and it'll be better. Um, but we're going to go see here. We're going to look for exclusively Raider sets. Um, I'm not going to have a lot of gear here. I'm literally only going to have the campaign gear. So we're going to hope that we have speed here. This one has speed. I like that. Um, I'm looking for speed here. This one is the only one with speed. It is a three-star piece, but that is the best one we have. Again, look for speed. This one's got three speed. This one has three speed. This one has three speed. Um, so since there's a multiple ones with three speed, we're going to really quickly upgrade this one to plus three and just see as much speed as we can get here ended up rolling a flat defense okay we'll move on to the next one uh just try to get a speed roll at all all right let's see we roll precision again on to the next one um this one has two speed but it's a five star piece so again we are literally just looking for any speed roll any speed roll at all attack percentage all right we're getting a little unlucky here <laughs> But uh, hopefully we just get a sync, like any speed roll is what we're looking for. Initial two speed or three speed could matter a lot here. We have four speed there. So I'm going to take this actually up to uh, plus uh, six here. I'm not too worried about these four-star legendary pieces. We're never going to use those. Um, end up rolling flat HP. So we could try another piece here. Uh, we could try this one. We can try this to plus uh, three here. And then see if it rolls speed. End up rolling speed, so let's try to go to plus, uh, let's see here, plus six. Come on, roll speed again. Another speed roll. Okay, I'm going to actually keep it at plus six. That's good enough. And then, again, we're just going to look for high focus now. So now we're going to look for focus. Um, and the reason for this is Windstrex is going to go first. We wanted to try to land that defense down um, or any other debuff that we would like to apply. So we're going to go ahead and just drop some focus. Actually, we're going to start with this one here. Just level up some pieces, see if we can get some focus on her. Again, what we want is her to go first, and we want her to land any debuffs that we might be land, uh, casting out there. So level us up to plus six. We don't need a ton of focus because, again, this is an early shard, and so we actually don't need... Wow, double focus roll, it's perfect. We actually don't need a lot of stats. We don't need a ton of speed. We don't need a ton of focus because everyone's early game here. 
Uh, so they're not really pushing Arena. We're not trying to get rank 1. That's not what we're trying to do here. All we're trying to do, another focus for a while, um, is get into Legend uh, and keep it. So we're going to try just to improve our stats as much as we could. 12% focus. We have 32% focus in total. And then we're going to look for the speed boots that we had earlier. We're going to upgrade these as well. We're going to take these to plus 12. Um, again, these aren't great boots uh, by any means. They are green, but they're the only uh, five-star speed raider boots that we have. So we rolled focus. We rolled agility. These are actually great rolls. <laughs> but uh, again, we probably won't be using that for too long. And we are going to uh just again check this is the only one we have so we're going to upgrade this to again i don't want to take this really really far up uh because we have very very minimal um gear charms so we rolled speed five speed nice um and then again we're going to roll this one this one's a three star so it's actually gonna be really easy to upgrade look at that one charm takes us to plus three okay we're at still two speed i'm going to take this up one more see if we can get like an additional two maybe three speed here all right we actually got focus. That's perfect. So we're at 42% focus, 213 speed. We literally jumped up 30 speed um, from where we were previously, previously at. We still have 20 speed to get on the glyphs. We could still max out this boot. So this is looking great so far. And then in order to pair her nicely with some damage dealers here, we're going to be having to upgrade our damage dealers. Um, so we're going to be using Evra and Valyria most likely. The question is, who do we run as a third slot? I think what we do is end up actually... Um, upgrading for uh, Nathalia here uh but we will see later um this might be for future videos or something uh to upgrade her a little bit because i'm still working on her glyphs so maybe we just run her right now but not quite upgrade her because i don't want to invest too much but i wonder if we have any better boots here that we could run let's just look at our attack percentage we have all five star pieces this is locked here this is crit rate crit damage um, this is definitely not going to replace this boot. This is an amazing boot. Let's just look here. This one's attack percentage. This one has focus. This one might be good. This one has crit rate. Okay, I'm going to enhance this one. Um, we may not use it on Evra, but we might use it on Valyria here. We're going to take it a plus six, because if it rolls one crit rate roll, it's already better. Um, it rolled no crit rate rolls, so maybe we keep on holding on to that for now. Um, honestly, we probably won't be able to improve this build too much, but Valyria is the one that we might actually be able to improve. Ah, this one has 18% crit rate. Um, we actually have some pretty solid pieces overall, to be honest. Um, so let's just see here. This one has precision. I actually really like precision here. I'm going to keep that on her. Let's just look here. This one, this piece has 8% crit rate. This one has uh, crit rate, flat attack. Uh, but this will give us another warrior set actually so another 144 attack that's nice i'm gonna upgrade this we're gonna see where it ends up going four star pieces i'm not super interested in uh anymore and even some of these pieces down here we're not gonna be interested in so maybe we roll crit right here that'd be awesome double defense percentage mm, is that better still uh than the current set probably not to be honest so we're gonna move on we're gonna look for these crit rate pieces here uh this one's crit rate precision this one's crit rate this one's crit rate as well crit rate this one's crit rate attack okay so now we're this is interesting let's upgrade this one uh really quick take this to plus six uh we don't want to take it to plus seven quite yet again we're going to try to preserve as much of our gear slash gear charms that we possibly can so we're going to take this hopefully roll crit rate attack um double stats across so we're not gonna be able to make any improvements really on our damage dealers here which is fine um not too big of a deal but what i really wanted to test out is just to see if we can actually beat some of these random wind strikes teams or if they are actually way faster than us so we are going to run the stun spell actually we can run the rage spell here um let's just see how this plays out i do not know how fast everyone's wind strikes here is in arena but our wind strikes is actually faster now the question is um we should have run the water prison because of the studying the other wind strikes but the question is how much faster is our wind strikes um it looks to me uh that their wind strikes is not too far behind because i think our evra is at 122 speed with the speed buff that's 172 so this wind strikes is one somewhere between 172 and like two 
uh 13 where our wind strikes is out but again we still have 20 speed that we can apply to our wind strikes which is nice and then ever should just be able to wipe the board here to be honest uh actually not as much damage as i thought it was going to be uh but that's why we have the double damage healer so finish it off valyria here these nukers are so awesome um i want to test a couple other ones nathalia did revive but she shouldn't be able to kill us all off and our Nefalia is actually going to get a turn beforehand, but our Nefalia does absolutely zero damage, uh, pretty much. As you can see there, it's a 2k to Hakrim. Um, their damage dealers actually hit decently hard, but it doesn't matter because we pretty much killed most of them off anyways. And that's going to be the first arena battle. I'm going to test out a couple more for you here um, and actually see how far we can actually push um, in regards to just these couple arena passes because... If we're actually able to reach Legend, um, again, as I mentioned, all we have to do is reach it and then hold on in the 5k point range. We're going to get full, uh, five Ancient Summons, which is absolutely crazy for an account um, of this you know, rank or of this uh, you know, kind of stature. We're, we're really early on in the game. So five Ancient Summons could be five Epics. It could be a Hacker. It could be a Santis. All those matter a ton. So I really, really want to get to Legend if possible. And of course... We really didn't have to do much here. So this is a interesting one. I forgot to change out the spells here. And I should have used the defense down. So this was kind of a complete misplay. But I was just a little excited to see what we can do here. Um, Brand is going to go before us now. Uh, and put up the buffs. So this is already looking like a loss. But we could just try here. Put up the defense down. Let's just see how much damage we're actually going to be doing here. Not... A crazy amount but honestly not that bad i expected much much worse we're gonna be able to kill out evra here and we may be able to actually kill off um everyone uh depending on what spells they ran uh, to be honest see if we can heal a little bit here brand is hurting a little bit ran guys renewal i do not think we'll be able to kill off corrupt orac and brand in the time time limit here so uh, we may just back out of this battle and see if we can try once more. But instead of running the Rage spell, we're going to be running the uh, Water Prison spell. Again, these are some of the tankier comps. And I could always avoid some of these, uh, even though, you know, we're pushing for Legend. I don't have to clear the whole board. I would just have to clear, I have to have a lot of fights throughout the day um, if, if I wanted to do that. So we're going to run this again, but we're, instead we're going to run Water Prison here. Our Windstrex is faster, which is a good sign. And it would be nice if she could survive so she could reset Evra's ultimate and get a second round of ultimates from Evra. Uh, but it may not be possible. So we're going to go ahead and stun Windstrex here. Go ahead and put the attack buff up. And we're going to see here. We forgot to, or we didn't use the defense down on Windstrex because she had to use the stun spell. But that's okay. We're going to go ahead and ult with Evra here. We did end up getting both those kill, uh, characters. And we're going to go on an ult here on Valyria. Kill off the Avra. We are still really, really far behind. We're going to try to lay the defense down here. We're, there's no way we're going to kill Corrupt Orek and Brand here. We do not have enough damage on our Valyria. So that's a little unfortunate. But again, I don't have to kill everyone on the list. I just have to kill a lot of people on the lists in order to get to Legend. So... We're going to try this one here. I'm going to refresh the list and then see if there's any other battles. I just want to see how possible this is because, again, top 10 would be awesome if we could get it. But again, we're only competing with the spots in Legend. We don't necessarily have to, um, you know, <laughs> beat out everyone in rank-wise. We just have to kind of keep up with everyone rank-wise. So here we are, and... We're going to go ahead and actually remove the buffs from Connor. I have no doubt that we're going to be able to kill off everyone here with Valyria and Evra. Connor's the only one because he is the wrong affinity. So there we go. As I mentioned, all the other ones are pretty low. Connor's the only one that was concerning, and they're all dead. So this looks pretty solid so far. I'm pretty excited. If I do end up doing a ton of battles, it's very possible because there are some win streaks and such uh in platinum in diamond i believe that kind of falls away but here's one this is a five star hacker and this is like a very very earlier game tank comp this one these are some win strikes comps let's try this one let's just randomly try this one and then if we end up winning i'm gonna wrap up the video there because 
I will be experimenting with a bunch of arena video or a bunch of arena battles if you all want to see that. But we're going to go to the Stun Windstrex here. Cyrus is incredibly fast with her base speed. Um, but we're going to go ahead and stun and just see what we can do here. Go ahead and defense down on uh, Evra here. Ult. And another attack. And then Valyria should at least kill off Cyrus and then get a bonus turn and then kill off Mephasia. Yep. And then this should kill off Mephasia here. No crit actually, but it still killed her off. So there you go. This is looking promising. Uh, we're already... Is that Platinum 3? One point off of Platinum 3. But our arena comp's looking great. Um, and if we happen to upgrade Nathalia a little bit more, which I might end up doing in order to kind of push in arena a little bit farther, this will look amazing. Again, we can max out our glyphs on wind strikes here um, in order for us to, you know, get a little bit a little bit extra speed so that we are for sure not being outrun. But uh, that'll be it for this video. Let me know if that was, this was pretty exciting for you. I just had to make a video because um, this opportunity kind of presented itself and I figured, uh, hey, this will be kind of cool to, to show everyone. So let me know if you enjoyed and I will see you for the next one.